All right, Salawam, Mike, and Salawam. It's your brother Karab from TMS Miami. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechai Kodash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers at the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and efforts awaken up the hope for the elect of the nation of Israel. And Shalom to the sisters that subscribe as well. Okay. Um, this is another episode of uh, Spiritual Spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. Okay. And uh, at best, I quote precepts. But um, man, <laughs> it, 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 it's, it, man. You know, it kind of leaves you speechless when you sit back and uh, recollect and you, uh, you know, examine what's going on right now. And, you know, um, just seeing, just seeing the most high work, man, you know, it, it, it's breathtaking. And, um, you know, the scriptures say, uh, you know, to uh, count the cost, okay? And, um, to say that we counted the cost initially when we came into this fold, you know, and I speak as a man, you know, not not as much, okay? And what, what uh, uh, verifies that is, um, for the most part, when you come into this thing, you're moving on blind faith, you know? You just, uh, what, what, what the common uh, uh, denominator is, we, we understood what was about to take place in the earth. Hold on one second. Right. Yeah, we, we knew what was about to take place in the earth, man, okay? And, and not even on a, uh, um, you know, on a spiritual level or on, on a divine level, just with what these devils had planned, man, you know? And, um, you know, and most brothers weren't even privy to uh, uh, the precept that states, uh, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We didn't know that, you know, first coming into this thing, but, you know, seeing what was going on in the world was was terrible within itself. Okay, and, and, and understanding that, hey, you know, and putting in countless, countless hours of trying to verify what you were seeing, you know? And like people are like, oh yeah, conspiracy theorists, you know, of course they don't know what the word means, but you know, under that connotation which they they perceive it to mean, you know, just bug outs of people looking into stuff that really doesn't exist. You know, when the, the actual reality of it is, brothers put countless, and I speak for myself, man, and I've spoken with other brothers, and it's pretty much the same uh, uh, testimony that we put in countless and countless hours, uh, uh, you know, to verify the stuff that we were seeing, man. And me personally, it was, uh, it was 9-11, uh, you know? And it was, uh, it was just crazy how it worked out because uh, the night before, it was, it, I'll never forget it, you know? It pretty much, that was, that's what the Most High used to spur me into, uh, uh, you know, understanding that, hey, the people that rule this planet are very evil and wicked, man, you know? So, um, you know, one night, me and a, 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 a friend of mine in the world, we were watching, uh, you know, sitting in the car smoking blunts and watching, uh, you know, footage of 9-11 people jumping out the windows and you know we pretty much got uh you know it, it was sentimental you know like damn that's fucked up man what, what, what happened and um you know that night convened and then the next the next day you know i wanted to watch a little more so i went in to watch a little more and i stumbled across uh, uh, a thumbnail that said 9-11 was a hoax you know, so I, I dug into that, and, and long story short, man, hey, I, I might have watched at least 40 to 80 hours of videos dealing with 9-11 uh, 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 was a hoax, man, to the point where nobody on this planet could tell me that it was fake. You see? I mean, as far as what, what, the, what the elites had done there, okay? Nobody could tell me that it was fake, you know? And the reality is, there's there's a lot of uh, uh, shit that's uh, fabricated on the internet, but yet it's still there's the truth on the internet. And what validates that is the, the brothers that bring out the truth from Great Meal Song, okay? 
So that proved that there is truth on the internet, okay? But um, like I was saying, you know, countless hours, countless, countless hours of seeing the ploys and the plots that this devil had, we saw help, man. You know, we saw help. And, you know, having that zeal, which, you know, all Israelites have, I don't give a shit if you declare yourself to be atheist or whatever, or, you know? You have a zeal. And what validates that is if your ass gets shot, okay, or you get in a car accident and it's, and it's uh, pretty bad, the first thing you're going to say is, God help me. You see? So that shows that we all have a zeal. Alluding to what's that? Uh, Romans, um, I believe that's Romans the 10th chapter. Okay? We all have a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge. Okay? But when our zeal kicked in, you know, um, was after we saw what this devil had planned, man. Okay, so we like, hey, who, hey, who's the true power? The only way we can survive what's coming is through him. Okay, and then, and, and that's what the scriptures say. It says, um, uh, seek and ye shall find, man. Okay, and that that and this this truth, and most of the time, this truth ain't just doesn't fall on your lap, man. Okay, I spent countless of hours of watching the Illuminati videos and Boule videos. I mean, thousands and thousands of hours, man. Okay, and to the point where it was like, you know what? Lord, who are you and where are you, man? Okay? So that brings me back to my first statement, which is, did you really count the cost? Eh, not per se, but you understood what was coming. You see? You understood that destruction and, and, and this devil was about to roll on the citizens, man. Okay? And we sought the higher power. Okay? And then walked on blind faith. You know? Especially as far as finding the true teachers. But when you really look at it, it wasn't blind faith. It was actually... You know, the Heavenly Father knocking on our door, okay? We answered and he sent his son to suck with us, like the scriptures say, you see? And then he led us on this, on, man, man, okay? And that's the part I was speaking on that, that leaves you, you know, speechless sometimes, you know? Because here it is, hey, hey, we like, we gotta do something. We gotta find the Lord, okay? And we sincerely wanted to see, find him, and guess what, we did, and he's blessed us with his secrets, man, okay? And then what do we do? We went out, ran to A, like it says in, what's that? Um, I believe that's Habakkuk, you know? I, 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 I will uh, stand upon my watch, you know? And, and, and with, uh, with the part where it says, um, let him run that read of it, you know? And we did that, man. And now, the things that we were prophesying, they're right in our face, man. We can taste it, you see? All the prophecies, that we brought out, okay? Regardless of your time in the faith, you know? Of course, because that, that holds the most uh, uh, the virtue with the elders, okay? The elder apostles. But, you know, even brothers that been in the truth five years, you know, seven years like myself, or eight years, or 10 years, or 12 years. Things that you were saying when you first came into this thing were not happening, you know? But now they're happening. Okay, and our spirits are being boosted, you know. And, and, and hey, it's some fearful times that are coming on this planet, man. But the scriptures say that He hasn't given us the spirit of fear, you see. And that's why, although we're coming into some treacherous times, man, our spirits are on 10, man. Or at least it should be. Your spirit should be on 10 right now, man. Okay, because hey, the, the moral of the, uh, of the story was to be delivered, you know. And now the things that it took to, to be delivered, we've 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 done to the best of our ability. And now the Most High is speaking, man. Like like it says in uh, 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 uh you know, what is that? I believe that's Habakkuk. It said, "Though it tarry, uh, wait for it." You know, and it, and it tarry. You know, even in your 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 short time and your walk, it tarry. But guess what? It's speaking loud and clear, man. Loud and clear. And guess what? We took that blind leap of faith, which was ultimately the Heavenly Father knocking at our door. And we answered, let his son in the suck with us. And now we in, hey, we in great state, man. We, are, we in a great case. We in the best case scenario, man. Okay? Because when this shit hits the fan, these people going to bug the fuck out, man. You know? But on the flip side, our spirits are hastening it, man. You know? And that's why it's imperative to make sure you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's, man. To make sure you're ready, you know, you get, hey, it's one thing to say, you know, to hasten it, you know, because I, I seen a nigga who fell out, okay, 
who, who didn't even cross the line. He fell out and uh, posted a, a, a picture on Instagram saying 144, Lord willing. And this nigga don't do no works, man. You know? So like the scripture say, there's a way that seeming right unto the man, but the, the, the ways thereof, the ending is death, roughly paraphrasing. You know? So uh, we make, we need to make sure we're in the, we, 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 we've been doing what the scriptures say to do. But at the same time, man, you know, the spirit is increasing, man. As things turn up, the Heavenly Father is increasing our spirits, man, to be able to deal with what's coming, man. Okay? And guess what? What's coming is not meant for us, man. That is meant for the, 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 the undesirables, okay, and the disobedient of our nation, man, and the rest of the heathen. That ain't for us, man. Okay? So that should be your spirit moving forward, man. Okay? And, and, and speaking life, you know? Because, hey, man, it, it, it's going to be ugly. Your, your spirit needs to be, you know, locked and loaded, man. Locked in the spirit, you know? So, yeah, brothers, just just, just admire it, man. Admire it. Because you're seeing the Heavenly Father begin to visit the earth that he made, man. And it's absolutely beautiful, okay? Absolutely beautiful. And just like he said, look, they're going to persecute us, man. It is obvious. That video, I mean, that uh, commercial, that Foot Locker commercial, you know, fucking with our YouTube pages. They are poking at us, man. Okay? And that's their way of letting us know, hey, we're watching y'all. Okay? But guess what? We know you're watching us. Okay? And when you come to try to lay hands on us, the Heavenly Father's going to lift up a standard. And he's going to kick your asses, man. You see? So ain't nothing to really worry about, brother. Just keep grinding. Keep working. You know? And, I, and remember that our salvation is nearer than we believe. Okay, so Lord willing, I was edifying with that. I say shalom.